Hi, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here. Isopods are low maintenance creatures, so you can usually leave them without any care at all for a week or two when you go on vacation, if you prepare correctly. In today's video, we'll talk about how to do just that. The chief danger to your isopods while you're gone is desiccation, or drying out. There are several things you can do to help prevent that from happening. One is to have a nice deep layer of substrate. That way, if the top layers of substrate start to dry out, the isopods can burrow down to the lower layers, which tend to retain moisture longer. The exact substrate depth will depend on your enclosure, but a couple of inches of base substrate with an inch or so of decomposing leaf litter on top is a pretty good place to start. So, if needed, top off your substrate before you go, and just make sure that you don't add substrate so deeply that you're providing a way for the isopods to climb out of the enclosure. Another step you can take to provide needed moisture for your isopods is to refresh your hydration station with some additional sphagnum moss, and make sure to moisten it well before you go. It's perfectly feasible to keep isopods healthy and happy without sphagnum moss, but there are few readily available natural materials that retain moisture quite as well as sphagnum moss does. Before we talk about ventilation and airflow for your isopods during your vacation, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. You help this channel in so many ways, and I really appreciate that. It doesn't take much. If you can spare about 3.3 US cents per day, you can become a patron. One thing I enjoy doing for my patrons is giving them a chance to post their questions in advance of a live stream, so I can make sure to address their questions during the stream, even if they can't attend live. There are many ways you can help support this channel, but if you'd like to help support us through Patreon, check out the link that I put in the last 20 seconds of the video, or in the description, or just look up Aquarimax on Patreon.com. Now, let's consider ventilation and airflow for your isopods during your vacation. Though some isopods thrive with minimal ventilation, there are many isopods that need and appreciate decent ventilation and airflow. However, this can be overdone, especially if no one is around to hydrate the enclosure when needed. Keep in mind the relative humidity and air movement in the room where you keep your isopods as well. If you live in a very dry climate, or air conditioning keeps the humidity in your house excessively low, your enclosures are going to dry out more quickly, even with minimal ventilation. If you have large screened areas and or vents on your enclosures, you might consider covering some of them short term to slow the evaporation. Don't eliminate ventilation, of course. Your isopods will still need to breathe, even if you're on vacation. Before you go on vacation, I highly recommend that you get a feel for how often your enclosures need watering based on the seasonal conditions that will be occurring during your absence. If, for instance, you find out that no matter what you do, your enclosures absolutely need water every seven days during the warmest months of the year, and you're going to be gone for two weeks during that period, you may need to enlist someone that you trust to come water your isopods while you're gone. Once you have taken steps to ensure proper hydration and ventilation for your isopods while you're on your trip, you can think about feeding them, but this is quite simple. If you have plenty of decaying wood and leaf litter in the enclosure, just give them a regular feeding, not a supersized feeding, of supplemental food before you leave, preferably something that's unlikely to mold, and then just don't worry about other food. Once they've finished that supplemental feeding, your isopods will be fine munching on the decaying wooden leaves for a couple of weeks, if not longer. I hope that this video has given you some ideas on how to make sure that your isopods thrive while you are vacationing. Do you have any other ideas? If so, please share them in the comments. And thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. Please feel free to share, rate, comment. If you haven't already, subscribe and then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video